Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to scrape insider transactions from Finviz. So on this website, you go to insider, which will take you to this table. And if I remember correctly, I think there's 200 transactions listed on this page. So I will scrape the whole table and you can look these up by ticker, but I'm more interested in the picture as a whole. If there's a lot of buying and selling within a week, that sort of thing to get a better sentiment on the overall market. But again, you can look these up by ticker. All right, so let's go to the R script. So I'm just going to require RVest. So here I have a function I wrote. It's simply just replacing any commas with an empty space so that I can later turn these into numeric values. So I'll go ahead and run that line. So here's the URL for the insider transactions. I'm going to read HTML. I'm going to use pipes to look up the table. So this is the path to where the table is located. So if we take a look at that table, we see that there's 200 rows. So I'll do a bit of formatting to turn these columns into numeric values and get the dates in the proper format. So here I'm just replacing the hash symbol with a character equivalent. Here I'm just replacing any dollar signs with the word dollar and any special characters such as parentheses and any added white space. So that was just for the column names so that if I try to save this in a database, I won't get any errors with the special characters for headers. So here I'm just reformatting the date, the number of shares, the dollar value, the number of shares total, and then the last column, which is the date of when the SEC form was submitted. So if we take a look at table, now we have this date column in the proper format, these as numeric, and this last column properly formatted. So now that it's in the proper format, we can just save these. We could scrape these maybe once a week. And then once we have a good amount of entries, we can then analyze these further. All right, guys, this concludes this video. I hope this was useful. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.